What's up everybody? Ryan Hubbard here, Hubbard's Handmade. Thanks for being a part of my channel. I wanted to start adding some more talking videos every now and then to update everybody on what I'm doing that doesn't make it into a project video. This week I send out a tweet, if you follow me on Twitter, about a, a granite and marble store that throws out all of their cut pieces, uh, their leftover pieces in a dumpster, and I went in there and I asked them if it was okay, just to make sure, but they said, yeah, of course, it's okay, people come all the time and take things out of the dumpster. And so uh, that's, um, if you've seen in some of my videos before where I use my planer, that's what the bed of my planer is made of a long, thin piece of leftover granite or marble, I'm not sure which, but it's a perfectly flat, smooth surface and it's a little bit longer than the original table, so it works for me. So since I'm working on a cutting board, uh, I was gonna try that technique where they level the board with a router, uh, but this table is not level and I know that it has a dip in it. And so I was trying to think about what to do, I was gonna, redo the surface, put a new uh, piece of plywood on there, or cover it with a piece of MDF, and I thought, hey, that leftover granite stuff. So I got two of these, and they're a full inch thick, and the, I'm not gonna go get the other one because they're so heavy, but I can lay them side by side if I need it to be wider than this, but it's certainly wide enough to put one cutting board down, and it's obviously gonna be perfectly flat, um, I'll have to think about how I'm going to secure it down. I guess just some double-sided tape and then I'm going to put together a, uh, a router sled and just go over my cutting board. So that will be in the cutting board video. Uh, I've got the rails cut for the sides here. I'm just got to put it all together and that'll be in the cutting board video. I also found out the hard way that it's good to wear gloves when you handle this stuff. I didn't have gloves with me when I stopped and uh, got it out of the dumpster, but I got all cut up, just thin little cuts in my hands from the edges of this because pieces of it, you know, they're really sharp and they just come right off. So wear gloves. Who knew? Probably everybody. I'm working on several different things right now. This, <clears throat> is my Bluetooth speaker uh, that I made out of black walnut. This video came out uh, two, three videos ago. And I am just adding uh, some finishing touches to the inside uh, to get all of the wiring done correctly. And I've also found that it sounds a lot better if it has like some old shop towels in there to dampen the sound. So I might also go back and put some sound dampening foam in there. I got a suggestion uh, on my video about that. This week I also had a chance to uh, work with the Boy Scouts in my area. I'm part of the Boy Scout Troop 67. And we had the boys come over to my shop and we made some catapults. Better not hit the camera. Oh, <laughs> uh, just something that I threw together um, from some one by two boards that I had in the shop because they were cheap and I needed something for the boys to make. But uh, requirements also called for things like mitered corner, so the boards were, I cut the boards in advance so that they didn't have to mess with the saws. Um, but we did have fun with like hammering nails and driving screws and uh, figuring out the best place for the rubber bands to attach and stuff like that. So, fun little project. Just make something up or make one for yourself. My next video is going to be a cutting board video. I've gone the past two or three years as a new woodworker without making a cutting board. So, somebody at my wife's work, Andrew, wanted me to make him a cutting board out of maple. So, before I cut up a bunch of expensive maple, I made a practice board out of the scrap pieces that were left over from when I did my table build. So this is made out of redwood, which is not really a hardwood, but I thought it came out uh, pretty nice. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it. I don't know if we wanna use it as a cutting board, but it might be great for like a dartboard or something like that. I don't know. Leave a comment down below if you think this would make a good cutting board or not, and I'll finish sanding it up. Possibly. Whew, I don't really want to pick it up, but. Oh! 
This is going to be the maple cutting board. He wanted it pretty thick, so it's about two and three quarters inches thick, but I haven't done the surface yet, obviously, so hoping to end up about two and a half inches or a little more than overall. So look forward to that video soon. I know if you're watching this video, you probably know who Bob Claggett is, and I'm a big fan of Bob over at I Like to Make Stuff. Bob hosts a Twitch stream, a live stream every Wednesday. He's been doing a cool thing over there on Twitch where the last few weeks, people who uh, participate and cheer the most in his videos get a plaque made. And last week, I won. And Bob. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is awesome. Thank you, sir. Bonus! Huh? And Bob sent me this plaque of his crazy face on there and Cheer Champ Hubbard's Handmade for 125.17. Uh, he cut this out live on the Glowforge that uh, Glowforge has sent him a production model for him to use to show everybody that it's real and it works and they're going to be coming out soon. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure you do go over and check out Bob and I like to make stuff. There's no reason why you should be watching my video and not know who Bob is. Okay? Okay. Tell him I sent you. That'd be hilarious. Give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if there's any questions that you have or things that you'd like to hear me talk about. I have a lot of ideas for vlogs in the future. Once again, I'm Ryan and thank you for watching Hubbard's Handmade.